Hi, I'm John Preston. I'm a professor of Lyon International University and a member of the Psychopharmacology Postdoctoral Master's Program. And I want to make a brief comment about an article that's gotten a lot of media attention this week, and rightly so. This is a research from Charles Houlihan and colleagues uh, looking at the impact of alcohol use and mortality rates. And the last couple of years have been studies done in both the United States and uh, abroad as well that has shown a trend towards there being lower mortality rates in people that are moderate drinkers. One of the problems with these studies has been that even though they look at the amount of alcohol consumption, they have not controlled well for a number of variables such as socioeconomic class, physical status, that is long-term health problems, and other variables that are considered to be very important that may have something to do with mortality rates. This study uh, was, was pretty unique in two respects. One, large sample size, looking at, at more than 1,800 uh, uh, people that ages 55 to 65. It was a looking at a 20-year period of time, looking at mortality rates from all causes, accidents, illnesses, and so forth, and also, very importantly, controlling for a number of variables, even when they matched for things like, for instance, obesity, whether or not a person smoked, their activity level, whether they've had clinical depression, their degree of social support, controlling for all of those variables, they still found that moderate drinkers had significantly lower mortality rates from all causes compared to both those who are abstinent and heavy drinkers. And in fact, uh, those who are abstinent from alcohol have rates of uh, mortality rates that are 49% higher than the moderate uh, drinking group, and those that are heavy drinkers, 42% higher. So it appears to be kind of a, a U-shaped curve where those that are abstinent and those that are very heavy drinkers incur higher mortality rates. Now I think there's just a couple of things to say about this. First, the study is good in that it controls for a number of variables because clearly uh, other studies, especially one in Australia uh, here recently, has shown that uh, people who abstain from alcohol tend to have lower uh, educational levels and also lower socioeconomic status and it's been long known that those variables may have to do also with uh, decreased access to health care and poor health outcomes but in this study they control for those factors so that's good. Uh, it's, it's absolutely unclear why moderate alcohol consumption might contribute to uh, uh, better health. Uh, that is not addressed in this particular study, the mechanism of action. And by the way, moderate drinking is considered to be two to three drinks per day. I learned a long time ago, if I ask uh, one of my clients, how much do you drink each day? If they say, I only have one beer, uh, it's important to find out, is that a can or a keg? Because some people's definition of one drink is obviously quite different from one person to the next. But this is based on uh, one ounce of spirits, one 12 ounce can of beer, uh, or six ounces of wine. Uh, but the other issue, too, that I think is very important to consider is that even if, when you look at group studies, it demonstrates fairly convincingly that there's some association between uh, moderate alcohol consumption and lower mortality rates, the fact remains that there are individuals who are at extraordinarily high risk for starting to drink and having that become a huge problem in terms of, of addiction and all the health consequences that go along with that as well as a huge number of automobile accidents that are caused by drunk driving. So I think this is like any other research. Uh, we have to wa watch and see what, if subsequent researches, uh, research projects come along and verify these findings. Uh, I think it's going to be important to try to find out why might this be the case, what's the mechanism of action. But it certainly doesn't mean that drinking alcohol is good for everyone. And in fact, in some instances, it can be a disaster. Okay, thank you.